<laughs> Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And what do we have today? Uh, so this is a, uh, a new little old guy uh, from CJRB, which is Artisan Cutlery's uh, budget brand. And this is the Malia or Malaya. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah, going to yeah. stick with that. Uh, so this is actually designed by um, uh, somebody in the knife community, Swags, uh, which uh, she partnered with uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works for uh, quite some time. Um, I know since then she has um, uh, kind of left that, but uh, yeah, has uh, released this model and then has also designed another model produced by Kaiser. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get out some of the basic specs on this guy. So overall length is 5.51 inches which I'll be honest, I was not expecting. Still expected it to be a little bit bigger, even though I can read, um, but I still mm, Always surprised me. Always want a little bit bigger. Uh, but, but blade length is 2.39 inches. Uh, edge length is at 2.25 inches. Uh, behind the edge was right about 20 thousandths. Not bad. Handle thickness, 0.58 a little bit on the chunky side. Um, handle length, 3.125. Stock thickness at 0.10. And then weight was 2.29 ounces. We're gonna give that a testaroni. Oh. 2.26. So close. Uh, but still, I'd rather be a little lighter than a little heavier, so not too bad. And country of origin on that guy is uh, China. So let's go ahead and plop this guy down. And get some get some friends out here. Mm. Some friends or similar sized knives or whatnot. So a little bit thinner, a little bit longer. Uh, Civivi McKenna there. And we'll pair that with the Spyderco Dragonfly. Obviously. Mm, a beautiful uh, one. Very similar in size. Um, we'll do this Riot T2500. T2500, he says confidently. You sure? <laughs> we got the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. We've got the mini bug out. And we'll do <laughs> Neutron here and the Delica. And the classic PM2 and pair of three sandwich. So you can see it is quite a bit smaller. Uh, definitely would be great as a fifth pocket knife, for sure. Best Tech Goblin, another small knife. What about the Ruck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is it compared to a Ruck S. And a regular Ruck, version Ruck two. Brass version 2. And now open. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, big difference. All right. So... <clears throat> Let's take a closer look at this guy here. So it does uh, have their um, proprietary steel, which is uh, AR RPM9, which is ooh, right there. Um, you know, I've uh, we, I, so far I've only handled one other model that um, has that steel. The Rhea, or the Rhea or the Raya, that's what yeah. it was. Rhea, Raya, somewhere in the middle of that. Um, uh, and it's held up pretty well, so no no big complaints. It seems to be uh, honestly really comparable to kind of almost like a powdered D2. Um, but, uh, you know, so far no huge complaints on it as far as um, edge retention or um, 
uh, corrosion or, or anything like that. No, no big complaints on it uh, so far, but I have not sharpened obviously this one or the other one, so I can't speak too much on uh, how it sharpens. Uh, but that is a nice uh, flat grind with a uh, little bit of a kind of polish on there, but not too polished. I think they list it as a sand polish. Um, and then it is a reverse tanto uh, kind of blade shape uh, as they put it. To me, I mean, I can see that. To me, it's like, oh, what is it? Lucas Burnley, I think, calls him a K edge uh, or a K tip where it, picture your line of the K there. Oops, Ooh, other way, oops. this way, which way? Oh, no, right. it's just whichever way. Uh, like a line there for your K and then up and bottom, you know, like a K. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying with a K? Yeah, yeah okay. All right. He doesn't believe me, guys. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. Um, Lucas Burley told me. Yeah. <coughs> um, uh, but yes, uh, pivot and action. So it uh, is on ceramic bearings. I also love that they threw in that little bit of an extra uh, kind of pivot collar just to kind of spice things up a little bit. A little pizzazz. Yeah, yeah, just a, just a little bit of pizzazz there. Also like that they, uh, you know, didn't necessarily make it dedicated thumb studs or dedicated front flipper. They kind of kept both in there, so you've got uh, multiple opening options, mm -hmm. uh, which is great on this little guy because it is very fidgety. Great action. And, um, oh, that is G10 scales, um, and you can get uh, JG10 on that guy as well. And red. Mm-hmm. So, pr uh, pretty nice. I'd probably go with the JG10 and maybe dye it or something, but I do like that, you know, if you're going to release only kind of two color variations, I think Jade is always a smart option because you have the ability to uh, red dye that to anything you want on the, uh, any color on the rainbow you want. Uh, so lock type is a um, liner lock. How's the lock up on that little guy? On that give, little shovel it. I'd give that probably a 50%. Yeah, okay, okay. 50%, very nice. And uh, clip and hardware on that guy. Let me get some help from our pocket simulator. Three thousand. Wow! Enhance, enhance, enhance. <laughs> enhance. Wow. So obviously, uh, completely in there. So uh, beautiful. No complaints there. Nice and simple clip. Um, I, I like that. I got got no no complaints there. Now they did recess the screws, so get a little clap there for that. I uh, didn't recess the clip though, but you know that's can't, okay. Can't One win step them all. At a time. Maybe 2022, we'll we'll have all recessed screws and recessed clips. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and then um, yeah, design and execution. Um, so as far as I know, this is you know I'm not sure in what order it uh, they'd come out, but I know that this and then the Kaiser. Um, sway back, I think, uh, is what it's called. Um, both of them, uh, yeah, designed by Swags. And, you know, I I, I guess I, I like what she did here. You know, it looks pretty good. I still wouldn't mind it just a hair bigger. Um, but still, I like that um, if you're going to keep it small, having that little bit of kind of swell back there, really do still get a, a pretty decent grip on here. Um, but yeah, no, by no means is it a full four finger knife. Um, but yeah, not, not too shabby. Um, pretty easy to front flick, thumb flick, and of course, spidey flick. So, gotta love that. Yeah, car carrying this thing around, I think spidey flick was my favorite one. Just because of the size, like you're saying, very small. You can hold on to the pocket clip a little bit. But yeah, it was definitely the easiest for trying to get that open for me. Some with trying to get the thumb out, I had to readjust my grip a little bit just to get that out. But very nice action, drop shut, especially for the size. Usually these this size doesn't drop shut, so I was very impressed with that. Mm-hmm. 
And, uh, what's the price on this little guy? What's What would this little uh, Chody Foster set you back? So MSRP of uh, 45.69 yet <laughs> seen it on several websites for 37.95. So very priced very well, very well. Oh yeah, I mean to to me one thing that I've uh, really been liking from CJRB is I feel like they really have um, realized what Civivi is doing and have really tried to make sure that they are putting stuff out that's kind of not only combating with that price point but still keeping a, a really good level of quality and just a real big focus on, on a good good bang for the buck. Uh, so really, really well done here. I I still would have gone with the, the, the Jade one if, uh, if I could choose. And I'll be honest, we can do away with that little lanyard hole. I don't do lanyards. Not a whole lot of people. It's a small percentage of folks in the knife community. So I do like that they at least did it a little more discreet uh, rather than just, uh, you know, drilling a hole in there or something. So I do like that, but you can do away with that, and I would be just as happy. But yeah, what are, your, what are your final thoughts on this little guy? Final thoughts. Uh, perfect knife for an extra carry or second knife carry, I think. Fifth pocket fits great. Amazing action. I love how you can deploy it several ways. Like I said, Spidey Flick's my favorite. Front front flip, everything, just so fidgety. Love the blade shape. I like the little touches of red and black. Uh, and I do love the pocket clip. Very understated. Just sort of like a flat black, very small, deep carry. Overall, I'm very impressed with this knife. And for $37, I mean, it's hard to beat especially when something like this from spider co is more around the what 50 60 dollar range mm -hmm. in the kind of 60 range yeah and to me uh and another good thing uh, kane just kind of touched on is you know having this as a secondary to me this complements you know some of your knives that are great knives but maybe not as kind of fidgety or uh whatnot even you know some of your autos where you can't necessarily fidget with an auto too terribly much um, so I, I kind of like, you know, throwing that guy in the mix when you do have something maybe a little more utilitarian or, uh, you know, if you're carrying a traditional. And that way, you know, you got a little, still a little fun uh, fidget factor. Or if you're uh, at the there. office and don't want to pull out like a four inch blade, you know, you can pull this little guy out and all the ladies might think, oh, how cute, you know, so. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh, how cute. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, so... Uh, I would definitely say, uh, you know, if you, if the uh, design speaks to you or if you're kind of looking for something sort of on the smaller side, uh, this is definitely a great one for the price. Uh, so, yeah, I would, uh, I, I, would, I would scoop it on up. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see um, what, uh, what other designs old uh, Swags uh, comes up with. Uh, I think she did a pretty good job on this one. So, a little clap. Too clap. Too clap. <laughs> you got too clap. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for uh, stopping by the living room um, and checking out this cool artistic deer. But, guys, it's time to go. Have a good one. Is that a deer or a llama? I have no idea. I think it's a deer. Yeah, it's a llama. 